Now, nice evening for a little dry fly fishing and I'm tying on my little size 18 twinkle hammer. Um, it's a little early yet and there's no fish actually rising so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a few speculative casts and see can I bring one up and um, it's unusually cold for the time of year actually and there's a wind blowing down the river which isn't ideal for the dry fly fishermen unfortunately as most casts dry fly fishing are actually upstream so when the wind is blowing downstream it makes that extremely difficult so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fish across the river and down now that's kind of unconventional with a dry fly but when it's windy like this wind downstream it's often the technique a technique that will overcome the wind yes. so I'm feeding it down and trying to avoid drag drags to avoid drag trout will not take the fly if it drags There's a lot of drag going on here now. Um, let's, try, let's try a shallower angle. Like that, maybe uh, it's not much better. Now it's sort of okay. I need to mend my line upstream to get the fly to travel properly. Tomorrow's the longest day of the year and yes, it's cold. It's more like April weather. Getting any result as yet. Might have to wait till they start rising. Hopefully they will. Hopefully they'll get some hatch of fly. Small one rise here. Oh. Actually, there's more than one. Yeah, the drag problem. So I'm not having a lot of success so far. And it's not that the fish are not there, there's plenty of them around here.
no offers. The night is young. here near at hand. Yeah, I'm getting plenty of drag. That's my problem, the wind blowing downstream. Aha, first one. Only a small fish. It's a start. Whoop. Come back when you are bigger. That looks like a better fish. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. He seems to be gone around a tree, a root of a tree, or what have I? I don't think I have the fish anymore, but whatever he went into. I didn't even break my rod here, I did. like a big bunch of moss. Well, wow, look at that. A big bunch of moss, as I said. So he made good his escape. What a mess. Right. Continue with this kind of unconventional way, if you like, of fishing a dry fly, but don't have an alternative at the moment with that wind.
just before this, oh yeah, lost them. But um, just before this bu bush has often been productive, they tend to lie just this side of the bush. Uh, and maybe a fella there. Why is not behaving as I'd like so little bit right into that little spot in there. No, if he's at home he's not interested. Coming short. Oh, and again, they're coming short. hoping that breeze is going to die down just as it gets to dusk and I'll be able to fish more conventionally and maybe get better hookups. Not a particularly big fish, but at least he didn't come short. You can see hooked in the bottom lip. Oh, off he goes. I think maybe it just requires a little pause before the strike. I think that might be the secret. Just for a fraction of a second. Steer this side of that tree. I like the look of it. It looks fishy. Again, trying to cast upstream that breeze. Oh, he looks like a nice fish. Let's see if I can get it in there. Won't be easy. I'm about a foot too short at this side. A leader. Uh, still too short. Extremely difficult to get into where he's at. That's better. Yes. 
Looks like a nice fish, oh yes. Not a particularly big fish either, but I enjoyed catching him because of where he was. So, just a little hint if you are taking the hook out of a fly. If you turn him upside down, he'll be an awful lot quieter than if he's in his natural position. So if you hold him upside down, they're quieter, and then when you turn him back up, he'll be fine, and you can just let him go just like that. Now that was a bit of a challenge to, put, to get him out of there. So, with that breeze and all. So that was good. here now. Downstream, the other thing with problem with fishing the fly downstream is you're actually pulling the fly out of their mouth as opposed to into their mouth as if you were fishing upstream. So that's another problem. So when you come to the river for the evening rise, and they've now started yet, all is not lost. Try a few speculative casts with the right fly and you'll almost always bring up a few. So I've waded about, I suppose, what, 150, 200 yards maybe? And I've had four or five fish. Not a lot, but beat sitting on the bank just looking at the river. Fish rules just here. My fly is acting strangely. I'm just going to check that everything is okay. Yeah, he appears to be okay. Well, An advantage of fishing the dry fly downstream, of course, is that they get to see the fly first before they get to see the leader. Because if they're hard fished, inevitably they'll be leader shy. So they get to see the fly first, which gives you a better chance of a take. Hooking them then is a different matter, of course.
For those of you who've never tried this downstream dry fly technique, just to demonstrate, when when you're casting, so, so I'm casting at sort of 45 degrees, I suppose. Just before the fly lands, I lift my rod back upstream like that, which gives you the drift. You can see the slack line that gives you the drag free drift for uh, a dozen feet. And if you walk after it, as I'm doing here, it can give you obviously a longer period of drag free drift. Because the trout here will not take a fly that's dragging. Well, the exception being late at night if you're using a sedge or something like that, but drag will put them down almost immediately. Aha, uh -huh. spotted one here now. And it dragged just as it got to him. So, he's likely scared off now, but we'll try once more. Yeah. The drag alerts him. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the video off for a little while until such time as maybe a few start rising and then I'll um, be back to you. Now it's about um, 20 minutes or so later and I'm still using my little twinkle hammer and uh, I've, the, the breeze has dropped considerably so I'll be able to fish in the conventional upstream manner now. Um, but about this fly, I tie this fly in a size 18 because it's, it's uh, it typically um, the flies on this river here are very small. So 18 kind of covers them and this fly here kind of represents everything in general and nothing in particular. But as you've seen a little earlier, it'll bring fish up when there's very little else happening and during a rise of olives, blueing olives, or any small upwing fly, it's particularly effective. So I'm going to be fishing now as I might conventionally first cast. Again, not a big fish, but a fish is a fish. going to do the same thing only upstream this time sort of speculative casting into any likely looking spots uh, just missed one there oftentimes it's difficult to see the fly on the river because it's so small so what I do is if I cannot see it I know where it is generally speaking so I see a rise I just lift the rod nine times out of ten it'll be I'll connect And another. Again, a small fish. This guy's got it wrapped around his head. Have you done that? I don't know. Yep. Off he goes. Yeah. Spotted one over near, right over near the bank. I'm fairly confident he'll take. If I can get it to him. 
Yeah. Oh, missed. Struck too fast. The little pause is required, just a fraction of a second. Small again. Very small, in fact, but whoop, off he goes. takes of this fly are very very subtle and gentle. They barely break the water to take it. So they are very much convinced that it's the real thing. Nice fish here. That's a nice fish. He would be typical of what I'd be expecting to catch of a June evening. There you go. So, it was at that point that my little camera battery ran out of steam and um, I couldn't film anymore and so did the fishing as it happens. The rise didn't materialise, it just turned extremely cold and there was Basically no fly life and as a consequence there was no rise. So um, that's the way that evening turned out. But even on an evening like that, that's where conditions are less than ideal. Um, you can still catch a few trout using some of the very simple and basic tactics that I use there. So um, thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, uh, leave a little comment or subscribe to the channel. I'll be doing some more stuff on similar lines in the future. Good evening, Keith Orella. Slán go